and Malamber. Yo, what's good, chat? Uh, welcome back. Uh, we are here doing a Wizard 101 race. I am here joined by my lovely friend Mal uh, Malamber, and uh, I have our near dear friend uh, Fracture, who is going to be commentating, giving you guys all the good, juicy analytical data about this silly little run. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the race. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be silly. And I hope you guys go crazy. Thanks, yeah. Poppin. All right. Whenever we're ready to do countdown. Uh, yeah. Are you ready, Poppin? I I am nervous, but I am ready. <laughs> well, let's get it started. Let's, let's go. Oh, on go. Three, two, one, go. So welcome everyone to Wizard 101. Uh, this is a old MMO, MMORPG from back in the early 2000s, 2008 to be exact. It is a deck strategy game and I'm super excited today to bring you this race. We have on the left side, we have Malamber, the current world record holder in the category named Robin Hood. And he currently won our last invitational tournament just a couple weeks ago. And on the right, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Poppin, playing as Taylor Swift. He is the new kid on the block, but took Mal to a nail biter of the match into this, coming into this, and I'm so excited to see what this match can bring us again. As you can see, we're jumping straight into the first battle. This game is a deck builder of sorts. You have turn-based combat, uh, and you cast spells per thing. Each per player is playing in their own separate environment, so they are not going to be involved with each other. Uh, and it's going to be a great time. As you can see, the um, players are picking cards, uh, specifically right now Imp, and they are going into each and then selecting their, their cast. You can play an up to four on each side, and this is going to be a lot of fun. So we already see Poppin actually already coming out ahead here very early on. Uh, and I'm going to just keep talking y'all through what's going on. So you have different spells. Each have their own damage range and a fizzle percent chance, which basically means that the spell fails to cast at the time. Uh, and these these stats are affected by here, but we don't really care about that. And the goal overall is to limit the randomness. Um, you will see also one inherent piece of RNG, which is um, that turn randomization. You don't get to choose if you go first or not. Um... So you just kind of deal with the hand you're drawn. Right now, they are using the Snake Spell, which is a Storm Spell, uh, the strongest class here, and I'll talk more about that later. But what we have going on here is they you kind of choose based on what your highest chance to kill and consistency. We saw a fizzle there from Poppin early on, unfortunate. The Snake has about a 80% chance to always work, and on this damage range, it does not matter. But also, chat, I am here to announce something right now. For every single fizzle they do, I will be donating $1 to the stream today. But I need y'all's help in chat. Every time they fizzle, we are at one for now for Poppin. Not the enemy fizzles, just Poppin and Malambra's fizzles. I need you to type in chat and help me count, because I cannot keep track of it. So I, we are at a one now for Poppin. Uh, Dino Dance won. Uh, something one, keep track of it for me because I'm not going to be able to keep track of it. Pratt. Anyway, we, yes. Question for you but, real fast. Is this offline instance or online randoms? These are online randoms. So we are in the clearest route. We are in the clearest realms possible. Um, but this is an MMO. Mm. So anything can happen and it is going to be chaotic later in the run. I... I am super excited. So we have both players um, coming up on the first major RNG step of this run, fighting the Dark Fairies. You do have to defeat two. You can see at the bottom, we have kind of a quest marker, which is going to be your guide to this game. Right now, it's on a talk uh, or an interact step. Uh, but after this, it will update to it. They need to fight two Dark Fairies to be able to move on. Um and so they are going to just kind of run in here, talk to that person, run out, and get right into it. But this is a hard one because this is not a guaranteed kill with the Thunder Snake. The Thunder Snake only does 95 base damage, uh, and the Dark Fairies have 115. So it's about 
a three and five chance of killing on the first time. That's why you'll see they put Imp in their deck also. We still have Poppin and the leader going into the first fairy, but anything can happen here. Poppin does go first, saves you time. Great job out of both of them staying up with it. Poppin gets a low roll, unfortunately, so he is not going to kill going into Imp. Um, but as we go, this is going very good so far for both of them. We'll see if Mount Malamber gets his cast here. Fizzles, that is very, very unfortunate. Damn, this is not... Not Malamber's day right now. But actually, it is better to fizzle in this case than it is to uh, low roll. Because low rolling means you have to cast a second spell, which wastes you even more time. Each pass, on average, is about 10 seconds. So we are trying to limit the amount of fizzles we have to do the entire time. You say fizzle, I prefer to crackle, but, you know, that's, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Yes, we call it Fizzle. I believe the word it says Fizzles. It's a failure. We don't like them. Anyway, we're coming up here. Poppin gets the second roll. Very nice out of him to finish off his collecting Fairy Dust. And not a bad time overall either. World Record Pace comes out of this section at about uh, 4.30, 4.45. So he is very close to a good run. And now is a perfect time to mention something you just saw on pop and screen that Mal will be coming up to you later. Unfortunately, he low rolled uh, and is falling a little bit further behind, which is um, realm swapping. So there, this game has a lot of realms um, that you can choose from to play with. And after battles, you actually have a cooldown timer uh, where you are not allowed to interact with another enemy to start a fight until that cooldown timer. Um, and so we can skip this and... Uh, as well, there is a forced dialogue in that room that Malamber is about to encounter uh, that we can skip by realm swapping. So he goes ahead and sets up uh, his mouse placement, and then the second it triggers, he just realm swaps immediately to make sure that he gets rid of that. Poppin is headed into the infamous Rattle Bones. This is kind of your run killer. Uh, he dictates a lot of it. You have your Dark Fairy as a second minion, uh, and if he does not, which he does kill, actually. Uh, that is very good from Poppin. He is on track to have a very fast run. We'll see what happens to Mal as he comes in, though. But you can skip that with that, or you, I will mention you can skip it with what's known as classic swapping, where you swap in the uh, the original art assets for the game versus these update ones. I will point that out as that happens. We see Malamber casting a Firecat here, so it is impossible if you are uh, their current class, which is Balanced, to one-shot Rattle Bones and the Dark Fairy, so they offer a two-shot. We see Malamber casting the Lightning Snake onto the Dark Fairy now. And Mo and so we see Poppin casting his Imp here to guarantee the kill onto Rattle Bones here. A very nice time, actually. A st sub-730 time killing Rattle Bones. This is actually a very fast run from Poppin so far. Very good out of him. I see a number of times they have summoned uh, Sarth the Sneck to the battlefield. Uh, yes, who apparently yes. has the ability to shoot lightning from their yes. mouth. So, yes, uh, if, our fun thunder fact, snake. Fun fact about Sarth, he didn't know. Yeah, good for Sarth. But yeah, Thunder Snake is the most powerful one pip spell. I guess that to now is a good time. Poppin's going to be running around. We see Mal finishing up right now as well. About 45 seconds behind, so a fight or two. Um, but they are both just going to be running through some stuff, so I'm just going to explain some stuff. So, along with each card has a physical chance, a damage chance, and then a cost. So you get pips in this game, you get one pip per round of damage. Um, and so over time, um, each round you uh, accumulate one more di uh, pip. And so, at first you only start with ones, we are about to see M M uh, Pop and pick up a balance level 2, uh, which takes two pips, uh, which is more powerful as well. I guess now is a good time to talk about the different classes. So we, you are seeing kind of two different classes of spells so far: balance and storm. Um, and those are those are also the two that are most common in speedrunning in Wizard World One as well. Storm is your high damage, low health class, um, so almost like a glass cannon of sorts. As well as um, you see balance, which is what both players are running, where you don't where you have more health overall, but your spells do less damage, but they are able to pick up their storm spells as a second school. Um, so they get that max damage with 
uh, not as many downsides as they would like. And what we're about, Poppin is about to head into our next fight here, the old Judd fight, which is a forced uh, tutorial fight to introduce you to pets. Uh, which I can talk about in a sec. Mal's getting his last spells here, and then he's teleporting back to Ambrose and doing a little thing we like to call loyalty skip. So he teleports to there's a loyalty shop NPC that we are a that we just have a teleport for, and he he's going to pick up uh, an amulet here, and that gives him an extra card of a extra powered Sarth snake here. Um, so instead of having a base damage of 95, that has a base damage of 125, and it greatly increases the damage range that he's able to get. Uh, pop in here, ki killing with it, uh, and you actually see he has, he holds a text box open there for a sec, and that enables him to do a quick swap here for his pet after his um, cooldown runs out to be able to move extra fast. You're meant to move really slow here, but something developers overlooked is we keep the text box open, and that tricks the game into letting us move quicker. You can see Poppin's having some fun there. As soon as you said Pip, I was like, oh no, here it comes. Poppin' picks up a Pip to pep up the pup, the Pippin' pipe and pot pipe with a pet pup. There we go. You are now commanding your pet, you to get to yes, I, <laughs> I just blanked for a sec. Yes, Mal is finishing his fight as well. About 30, 45 seconds behind, I would say, by my estimate. I do not have a timer going on my hand, so I apologize for that. But as we can see, Poppin is now leaving to go to the first of three streets here. So we have made it through the tutorial section. And we are kind of on to the next part of the run, which is Trident Avenue. Trident Avenue is the, uh, if you played kind of the free-to-play section of this game, it is kind of your, inter your first, baby's first area to go to. Uh, it is the storm-based area, uh, notably, but they thought storm was too powerful, so the bosses fire at the end. Anyway... They are going, they are going straight into this. They have to three, three haunted minions now. Uh, Malamber is close on his feet. Poppin is saying hi. We love you, Poppin. And they are using uh, a deck setup known as the Trifecta. Um, so you have, uh, a lot of times we run it with as many, uh, fewer spells in your deck as possible to reduce the RNG. Uh, but we put in three here, which is uh, close to the most you will see outside of boss fights. Um, and so you run with your uh, Sarth Snake, the 125, uh, but these minions have 135. So we have an Imp as a backup in case we need to kill on the 20% chance that the damage roll does not kill. Um, but then if you fizzle, uh, we have a Scorpion, the, tip, the two pip balance spell in the deck. And so Poppin, fizzle, Poppin did not get the kill here, which is very unfortunate, losing him about 10-15 seconds here. Uh, and gives Malamber a chance to catch up a little bit. But it, uh, we put a Scorpion as well in the deck in case you fizzle, so you're guaranteed to kill on turn two. Which is very good. Um, I believe Poppin still has to do one more. Uh, yes, he does. He, you can see him realm swapping now to skip the, um, to skip his battle timer, and then also insta-get into a battle here. Is going second again, which is giving Mal a chance to catch up. So yeah. So yeah, indeed. Oh. <laughs> Excellent explanations from Frax. Yes. And we are Thanks for the help. about to head into one of the first kind of RNG checks for defeats in the run. Uh, Poppin has finished. Malamber is actually right on his heels, only about 10 seconds behind him. They are less than a cast between them right now, which is awesome to see. Uh, but now we are going up against the eel. The eel has 150 health, so you are going to see both of them instant pass um, on the first turn. Poppin is going a little bit further for his people. Um, and they are going to instant pass and then cast Scorpion on the second turn. Scorpion has a 90% chance not to fizzle. Um, and then you just cast your Scorpion and kill. But there is a very small chance that there is an item collection they have to hit here, which is complete RNG. It has about, we estimate, about 2 or 3% chance to fizzle, and so it's just kind of a dice roll if you get it or not. Malamber has actually taken the lead because he got better RNG on that. He does collect the wand as well, which is very good. You can see they're completing the goal. 
Poppin does as well, so they remain neck and neck here going into our next battle section uh, to defeat some Rowing Potters. Uh, and I think we have time for a donation or two if you have one. I'm currently not seeing any donations at this time, but I will take this time to say that, that the Team Fastest Furs Community Showcase is back with monthly streams featuring amazing speedruns of all kinds for members of the Fastest Furs Community. If you are a speedrunner interested in participating in a future showcase, please use the command exclamation mark showcase in the chat to fill out an application today. I'd also like to quickly mention if we have a moment, uh, that the Fastest Furs Fall Fest 2023 is raising money all weekend long for Trans Lifeline. In addition to their peer support hotline, Trans Lifeline also directly supports trans individuals in need through their uh, microgrant program. The program provides direct financial assistance to those who need to correct uh, names or gender markers on identifying legal documents to receive gender affirming hair removal treatment or to receive basic necessities during and after incarceration. For more information, please visit www.translifeline.org slash microgrants. That's www.translifeline.org slash microgrants. Back to you, Frax. Thanks, Fox. So we see they are both fighting Rowing Potters right now. These are kind of your typical enemy. They both have 150 health as well. Uh, we are going to be one-shotting most of the enemies not in battles for this run, so it's a lot of RNG management to try and get it. We see Mal is actually done with his collect quest here. You have to collect three of these storm amulets to defeat three of them. And he is already on to our second section here. Poppin still has one more to go. He has gone very unfortunate with these second turns here, kind of just dragging down his time. And that's, there's not much you can do. You just kind of got to roll with the punches here. Uh, but he should make a combat. The RNG all, all evens out. Uh, as Poppin goes, or as Mal goes into the next section, which is the Scarlet Screamers. And so he's going to fight one here and then move to a different location to fight two more. It's just more optimal movement. And the second, and I'll talk a little bit about why in a sec, as Poppin finishes up his collect quest here, he is actually running a little low on health, which is a little scary. Um, if you run out of health here, it's just all around bad. Um, but yeah, Mal, finishing up a Scarlet Screamer, his first of three. He also needs to collect three of these cogs. So where you see that cog over kind of to the right on the screen, he is going to defeat a Scarlet Screamer and then go collect the cog in between. Um, so Poppin is about a whole whole fight behind right now. He almost forgot to talk to the NPC to collect to start the quest, which would be very unfortunate. But yeah, so Poppin or Mal. Fight number two, almost in the books. Poppin is on fight number one now, so he is a whole fight behind, but we have a whole lot of race left, and he can easily make that up. Uh, we saw Mal grab that first of his three cogs he needed to grab. And yeah, just hopefully they get it. Can't. Uh, but this is this is one of the more fizzle-prone sections of the run. If both runners get through without fizzling, that'd be miraculous. You have a 75% chance of casting uh, every time they cast one of these lightning bats. So it it ends up working out to every four you should fizzle one about. Um, but they both seem to be going pretty well so far. Uh, and now we see Mal done with his, currently talking to Vlad and finishing up here. Uh, and he is about to enter our first, our second major boss of the game, the Harvest Lord. The Harvest Lord is the final boss of this area, uh, but we will be seeing it a little bit again. And that is another fizzle from Poppin, forcing him to fall a little bit more behind, unfortunately. Uh, and actually, something I'm going to talk about now is uh, in the beginning of the run, the very beginning, they picked up a quest uh, that gives an op a opal ring that gives them additional 10 HP. However, we don't actually care about the the ring itself, what it does is gives them, I believe it's 5 XP, which is just enough to guarantee that level up there that Mal just hit. And level ups are important this run because they were they uh, replenish your whole uh, mana and, um, and health bar. And so that's very important here. 
Pop is still on its third Scarlet Screamer. We see Mouse starting off uh, in this fight. You want to kill the minion instantly in all these boss fights because every time you leave him alive, they can cast another spell and waste another 10 seconds of your life. So we see Mal just take rid of him, and he used what is known as a pet assist there. This was actually a fairly recent addition to the game within the last couple of years, where um, you get a pet... That was a fizzle of an imp. I do not see that too often. We see Poppin wrapping up his third here, uh, and he should be starting Poppin Slur in a bit. But a pet assist is a guaranteed 45 damage. It takes a little longer to cast than a normal spell. But the guaranteed damage is worth it right there because it's basically an extra cast in the same turn. And so we don't have to worry about trying to... Uh, and wasting another turn to cast something like an Imp when we can just cast that pet. The only downside is if you fizzle, that pet still casts, so it just kind of wastes extra time if you don't need it. Uh, we are seeing Mal cast his second Lightning Bat here, which... Wow. Uh, wow. Oh Does not guarantee his kill. That's so good. But, um... Incredible. Does not guarantee his kill, but, uh, he does get that, um, eventually. Sorry, I got started with something. A bird just flew in my room. Anyway. Bird did not just fly in my room. I just lost track of my train of thoughts. Mal on his way already oh, to amazing. finish up this area as Poppin is just starting Sorry, it. He has built up quite a lead for himself coming out out of the gates here. A 20, gonna be a sub 21 here, which is a very good time. The world record, I believe, is a 2049 um, by Mal himself for this for this subcategory here. Frax, when you say, uh, pet assist, all I got in my mind is one of them yelling, Get him, Fido! And then a dragon drops down and just, you know, devours the enemy. Poppin probably does that, does do that. He does a lot of these weird, um, superstitions, as you would call them, uh, that help him make sure that his run goes to, his run goes to a way he's wanting. If you ever watch his stream, he is constantly yelling at the screen, telling it to do stuff for him, so. I love but yelling But Mal has wrapped... Mal has wrapped up his first area here. Uh, he is going to turn this quest to get a little bit of extra XP, and he is on to Cyclops Lane now. Poppin just killing that that second minion there. It is actually possible to, if you get two low rolls on these bats here, 245 apiece, uh, and the Harvest Lord only has uh, 510, it is possible to not kill with two bats. It is very, very unlikely. He does get the low roll in the first one, so I really hope it doesn't happen. But Mal is on to the first quest of the Cyclops area. He is having to defeat three trolls. These are kind of the equivalent of the Haunted Minions. They have 135 health, and he is running the Trifecta again to be able to kill them. And it's going swell for him so far. Smooth sailing on Mal in all cases. Hopefully Mal, hopefully Poppin can make a comeback here, but it, he's uh, a minute or two behind now at best. Hopefully this kills even. Does get the kill at least. Uh, but Mao is currently pulling out a very, very sizable lead here. And this is this is heating up to be very interesting for Mao. But the the scary part of the run has just begun. Uh, going into this area. We are going into what is known currently as the laundry section. It is I don't want to say an infamous part of the run, but it is one of the funniest bits of dialogue you will ever see. Unfortunately, we will not uh, get to see it too much, but Cyrus Drake, who is uh, the myth teacher, and the, the Cyclops tree is the mystery um, with all these mythological beings in it, asks you to run laundry for him. So we're going to see Mal go pick up some laundry and return to him and all of that in a couple minutes. Um, but great for, great for Mal starting out. Uh, and as we enter that, do we have any donations? I don't see any donations at the moment, uh, but I will say, yes, the one thing I think of whenever there is a fantasy wizarding adventure, it's picking up my dry cleaning because, I mean, that just goes with the territory. Let's just face it, you know, got to have, uh, you know, clean robes when you're casting spells, you know? I mean, right, how, else right, gonna, right. How, how else are you going to get it clean, right? Right? 
Um, I will take this moment to say once again, congratulations to the community overall for raising up to $9,213 so far. Um, and that is so close, everyone in chat, to $10,000. That is amazing. As for any incentives currently open at the moment, we have our most recent one, which is the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past uh, bonus any percent run. The target amount is $500. Other incentives, our bid wars currently uh, open, uh, is the Super Metroid map randomizer. The incentive is save the animals. You guys want to save the animals, right? Come on, we all got to save the animals. Save the animals. Save the animals. And Mega Man X7 incentive is Japanese English bid war. So those are currently open right now, and we'll see what happens with them. Back to Frax. Yeah, so we see Malamber here currently wrapping up this kind of Cyrus laundry quest timeline here. We are going to see him getting back into action very soon. Poppin fizzling there. Uh, so he is currently now still about three, maybe four fights behind a whole quest now, which is currently surmounting. It is becoming tough to see him coming back unless Mal has a grave, grave mistake here. Poppin is going to not be happy with this run, but not what Tunny can do. He is playing a good match. We see Mal a little flustered there, trying to figure out where to go next. Uh, trying to figure out how to get some mana here. He is completely out of mana. Going to the fight with four mana. If he, uh, each of these take two, each of these bats take two mana to cast and they do kill. But if he fizzles twice here, he is out of mana and going to have to flee and restock which is going to be very unfortunate for him. But let's see how this goes. He is about to cast his Lightning Bats. 75% chance does get it off. Very good from him. You only have to defeat one of these Cyclops, so he is in the clear for now, but he has another battle coming up right after this with not too much time to heal. Uh, we see Poppin going for a Winchester to collect a little bit extra gold. Those are kind of just spawned around the map randomly, uh, and we'll get into why they need a bunch of gold later for... Uh, something to purchase right before the final battle as poppin currently starts laundry woohoo laundry love it uh mal is heading into the dark cave so the dark cave is uh a section that connects uh fire canal which we have not discussed yet and um the and cyclops lane kind of in the back alley we need to defeat a rotting fodder in here to be able to uh, collect a talisman to be able to unlock some other wizards from a couple bubbles. Uh, and it seems to be going well. There are a number of things these uh, level 2 minions can cast. Usually it's a rank 1 spell like the snake, um, or it can be a uh, rank 2 spell if they fizzle the first time, or they can pass, so that means you don't want to cast anything, or they can cast a shield. So we are looking for pass and shields for the most part when they get the chance. Uh, now Mal has gotten his talisman, so he's going to go unlock these wizards, which turn into more NPCs to talk to, which we love our NPCs so much. But it is going great for him. He is heading up to the third and final bubble. It is a quick little section here to unlock him while Poppin is about to go get his Cyclops. Mal has found enough mana to make sure he survives here. Uh, and it, fun fact about this last bubble here, if he, we're going to see him spam through some text boxes and then hit teleport. If he hits teleport too early after starting the text box spamming, it is possible to actually soft lock your game there and you are kind of just SOL. Uh, not much you can do there. So we, Mal is heading into his next fight. Poppin is starting up his uh, Cyclops is here. Almost a whole, probably two or three minutes behind uh, Mal at this point, but he can make a comeback. We have four really hard bosses still left in this run. Uh, and we Mal is fighting the Warhorns, one of the three hardest enemies in the fight, uh, mostly based on health alone. This is so hard um, to get right because this Lightning Bats here, unlike other ones, does not automatically kill. You can see if Mal didn't have his menu open to set up his Realm Swap, um, uh, it, they, uh, he gets a boost. So Storm actually boost myth. It is a 20% boost, um, or is a 10% boost. I apologize. Um, and so our 
our bats, which normally do 245, get boosted up at, to 267 at the lowest. So you have a, I want to say it's a 60% chance to kill on each of these. Poppin is also running low on mana. I wonder if he just runs into this battle and kind of just goes with it, hopes, because he has to be feeling the pressure here that he is really far behind. I don't know what he's going to do. Mal gets his second Warhorn kind of done here, uh, regroups himself, and is going for the third. And we're... And this is actually where, from a technical standpoint, this run gets very interesting because he is actually not going to fight the boss of this area. We are going to just say sayonara, see you later, and just get out of there. Um, he does fizzle his first one, which I can hear the money, like, cha-ching cashier oh, coming out of my pockets as every lucky. time that happens. But he has a sizable yeah, lead here. Just, Shouldn't yeah. be too concerned about that one so far. Yeah, and good. it is hopefully he gets the kill here oh, does low roll i wonder if he elected to use his pet assist here um like we do see him use his pet assist. a lot of top runners if you are going second use your pet assist so that way you can skip the potential of your mini your enemy casting another spell uh which saves you time overall um but we are about to see mal talk to romulus which is the guard for the area and then just kind of dipped because due to an oversight in the programming, um, the unlock for the final bosses does not need that quest completed. So he is not getting XP for the quest, unfortunately, but we don't really need it anyway. He is skipping that quest that he currently has and going straight to the third area, which is Fire Cat Alley, uh, which is notably the hardest of the three areas. Uh, you can do any of them first. We have speedruns to do all three independently, but Fire Cat is the one that you are the most likely to die on poppin getting that low roll there is very unfortunate for him it is not going well for him overall and it hopefully poppin can find a way back we are seeing mal start up uh the third and final area for him which is these haunted minions uh and it is it, this area is a doozy you start out with finding some haunted minions there is a fizzle from mal currently continuing to bleed time but he has built up such an advantage over poppin uh two warhorns behind and then whatever minions he can find and yeah mal is one of the best runners at this game ever we call him the goat within the community for a reason he is running like it means it uh not letting poppin come back at all doing everything he needs to to win this race here does get the 125 roll. Very unfortunate. This RNG is starting to come back at Mal a little bit. We'll see if it can come back. But a lot of this lead that Mal has built up is not only his RNG. He is the best at macro. Just moving around the map. Selecting things as quick as possible. Knows where to line up his mouse cursor. So that way it never never takes longer than a little second to do the next thing he needs to. We can see he insta turns uh, there to pick up his stuff and move on by taking this teleporter to talk to the next area and start fighting the the fire elves so this is this is the next enemy they have 150 health uh so it is possible uh if poppin is really behind to go for a one turn kill here on these fire elves by using the snake it has about a 40 percent chance to kill but if you're ahead you might as well just take it that is a very unlucky fizzle for mal Lucky for the, the elf to match him and fizzle back. That one does not count for money. But uh, he is getting a uh, little bit more unlucky than Poppin is. As I say that, Poppin is going into turn two of not killing. But we see Mal continuing to march forward. Gets one, realm swaps, and now is about to fight his second. And he is opting for the safe strat of the guaranteed kill of the Scorpion. Which I would say is the right play right now. Poppin just finishing up uh, the uh, Cyclops, lane, Cyclops lane, heading out, sayonara, no need to defeat General Achilles here, and we he is about to start uh, out the Fire Cat Alley portion for himself, um, as Mal is currently four a whole four fights ahead, uh, probably amounting to about two minutes overall. Uh, and we are about to see... 
Mal fight the next hardest minion in the game, the Pathfinders, and this is they this enemy is hardest for their range. They are the same health as those warhorns we fought earlier, but we do not get a boost against them. Uh as they are fire minions. So uh only your max roll of 285 on these bats would kill. Um and the main of the game here is gonna be mana management. We do not want to cast extra things that we don't have to that cost us time because every time we have to go refill mana, it's things you have to deal with. So Mal is going to uh, pet assist here because 9 out of 10 times you have to pet assist anyway. Does get the fizzle, so he is losing some time in theory. But Poppin is so far behind right now, it's just coasting for him. Unfortunate. Keep rolling with the punches. He is not catching up right now, unfortunately. RNG is not blessing Poppin today. Frax, yeah. we have some donations coming in. Mind if I pop in and read them? Of course, this is a perfect time. See what I did there? All right, <laughs> in that case, we've got Ian Keith dropping $10 towards the Save the Animals incentive. Thank you, Ian. The comment reads, would you say that so far this run is magical? It's certainly casting a spell on us. Time to wave the magic wand with a visa on it, I guess. Thank you, Ian, for the $10 donation. And we have Devio coming in with a $200 donation towards the incentive bonus any percent run. That's for The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And the comment reads, it's really fun to see a speed run of a game I worked on back in the day. It brings back lots of memories. Good luck to the runners and may your fizzles be few and far between. Wow, I'm I'm speechless. Thank you all so much for the donations. They These people support a great cause. Fast as first and an amazing organization. And I'm so happy to be here commenting for this. And I, yeah, that... Make sure to give these guys a follow. We'll be shouting out their stuff at the end. But Mal is headed on to the next section. He finishes his Pathfinders. Poppin is currently trying to kill these uh, these pesky Fire Elves here. They are doing a great deal to him. Uh, but yeah, like I said, mana management is the best part of this game. Um, uh, or the name of this game. We do not want to to deal with it too much uh we are trying to conserve this potion they have this potion if you see it's a little small thing at the bottom there and they just kind of don't want to use it it's a full health and mana regen similar to a level up but they want to use it uh as a last resort kind of last ditch effort needing it uh whenever whenever things get too sketchy especially as a quick refill if you something goes wrong in a boss fight so very nice from both of them. We see Malamber on to his, I believe it's his, no, it's his second. His second of his two Magma Med fights that he needs to do uh, to move on. Poppin just starting up his Pathfinders here is taking a real beating from him down to 80 HP. This is getting um, very tedious from him. Gets the fizzle there. Very precarious fizzles as well though oh my god poppin could be dying here this is a very precarious situation we will see how this unfolds in a very very quick second mal is still fizzling up ahead but poppin not looking good for him here gets a gets a fire cat i believe oh it did the exact amount of damage to die oh my god that is very unfortunate how Poppin, I'm, he uses his potion to get back immediately, but that is a time loss unfortunate. Dang, that is, I did not expect to see that until five or ten minutes after this, but that is not helping Poppin's case here. He is going to want this day back in history. But he will have another chance. We are actually having a tournament at the end of next month, uh, or... The beginning of next month, uh, the end of year Wizard C tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun, uh, and we are. And but this is kind of a little small taste of what you can expect to see. Poppin fizzling again, not getting the RNG he needs. Mal has finished his magma men, 
and he is headed to back to the dark cave to kill another rotting fodder to get this magical stone. It's a stone. It does something. Uh, I really don't actually know the lore um, of this game too much. All I know is there's a big bad person at the end. And we want to we want to fight him. But yeah, Mal getting the stone. Poppin is on his way. Got burned last time. Gets his first of two Pathfinders. It's just rough from him, but he is hanging in there. He can always make a comeback. We still have two very hard boss fights. The first of which Mal is actually headed to right now, which is Bastilla Gravewind. Gravewood? Gravewind? Something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but that is the first of two bosses kind of back to back. Poppin says for charity. Oh, seven's popping. Thank you. Uh, but we are seeing a boss fight out Mal right now, which is very important from him to kind of keep chugging along here. This boss is very likely to kill you. Um, if you make one misstep, if you get one unfortunate fizzle, as is a lot of this, he does have a lot of health here or at seven fifty. but you know, one fizzle, we just saw pop and take one fizzle and it kind of just kind of just left him for dead, you know? So we'll, we'll see how this fight goes for Malamber. Uh, the safe way to do it is you kill the minion and then you flee uh, and gives you a chance to heal. However, a lot of times you don't see top runners doing it if they get a quick kill on this minion here using our Sarth Snake here. Does get the fizzle though, which is very unfortunate for him. Uh, has to waste time in this pet cast, but we we will see what happens here. It could be a long fight ahead for Mal, which could be what Poppin needs to get back into this race. Uh, the Dark Fairy doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does take a heck of a long time to run through this. Um, it, it's doing something, and this is where having a minion still in the fight starts to bite you. They get to cast these kind of extra spells over and over, and it just eats up time. Hopefully here we see Mal getting his cast done, does cast it this time, killing the minion, but already took a couple hundred damage worth of HP. We will see what happens here. Uh, these one pip spells do not uh, pose too much of a threat. It's when they get to build up a couple is when it gets scary. Poppin is not having fun here. He is counting his own uh, fizzles Says he's at 10, I believe he is at 9, but you never know. According to chat, we have an 8-9 fizzle right now. 8-9 fizzle. 8 for Mal, 9 for Poppin. Go at all the charity, congrats to them. Let's see what happens. Mal, I believe, passed for a second time and is going for the Scorpion. He actually, it is possible to use a Scorpion here to kill. Usually you see two lightning bats the reason you use the scorpion is to try and prevent that which is fizzling the scorpion is a 90 percent chance to work but mal just unfortunate there gets this gets that fizzle uh but that this is only possible with a with the highest damage range on the bats if it does 2a5 he will have she will have 155 remaining at the end of this uh, and so Mal does get up, does finish, and he is kind of in just a quick second to go turn something in. Um, I don't know why he did that, actually, because um, he's headed straight back there right now. A little confusing out of him, um, but he is just kind of in a chill section. He is about to go into our second boss fight. You just grab a little bit of mana here, talk to this random person, and then kind of go back to what you were doing before. Um, you know, a little a little breather, you might say. Uh, usually, in a normal game, you would go off and do some side quests, you know, uh, take a couple pictures, do some gardening. But in this, we are back at it right again. You never know how this is going to go. Poppin is defeating his wrong fodder, about to go into Bastilla then. But with Mouse so far ahead, can Poppin mount this comeback that he needs? He needs an almost perfect Bastilla in order to have this happen, collecting a little bit of mana here before that happens. Um, Mal, 
trying to grab that health potion ends up accidentally starting this fight. Hopefully everything goes fine. Oh no, this is actually very, very bad for pa for Mal. Uh, he is in kind of a stuck loop right now because someone else is already fighting this, uh, fighting in this realm. He is stuck here until this person finishes, basically. Uh, he opts to flee to heal, but that is very unfortunate for Mal. Because this is an MMO, things like that do happen. Um, and it, he's not even, he doesn't have enough mana to reset his thing, so he's just running over here to, to regain some mana before he heads back. He didn't even care that much about any of this. All he wanted was that heal pip. And this is turning from, turning into disaster very quickly for Mal. Hopefully, Poppins, Bastilla goes about the same as Mal's. Uh, he doesn't need to heal anymore, thankfully. Got that out of the way. But unfortunate from him, that's what happens in this in this category occasionally because of the nature of it being in and out. But you know, if that didn't happen, it wouldn't be the game we love. So, yeah. Into into Poppins' fight, he does get the cast off on the minion. Is going to get the kill there onto um, onto the fire elf, uh, which means it's going well. Uh, Mal Ori claiming fault for that. He is into this fight, which is Alakane Swifter. Alakane Swifter is the boss of this area, the head fire elf, as you may say it. Um, and we need three fire bats here to be fire bats, lightning bats to be able to kill. One for the minion, which goes perfectly for him. That's what you want to see. And then two for uh, Alakane himself. Pop and getting a nerf fizzle there, unfortunately. Uh, but we, you can see, Alakane already has two pips amassed. We do not want to see him get too many more. His three and four pip natural attacks, because they do scale with the number of pips he has, do a lot, a lot of damage. The other thing he is able to cast is the Fire Elf spell, separate from the enemy, but that is a damage over time. So Mal might get this little swirly thing around him that does damage, and it literally, it just takes two or three seconds off every time you cast. Gets the first. Uh, which is good for Mal, and then into this we go. Number two, Poppin about to kill here on Bastilla, which is very good. Does have a whole fight to catch up for still, but you never know how it might go. Mal does kill here. Let's hope he does. So this is the one fight you cannot immediately exit from. You need to stick around because... You need to talk to Alakane, make sure you feed him some medicine uh, to help, and then leave. If you do not talk to him, that is what we call pulling a berry, uh, referencing uh, the the great Barry Saxy, who could not be here today with us, uh, co-commentating with me. But he, uh, in our first ever Wizard State speedrunning tournament, forgot to collect it, uh, leading to what is now known as the berry. Anyway... Mal is finished with this area, exiting out, needs to just talk to a couple people, and then is going to be on to his final uh, two boss, two fights of this run, uh, if we have any donations. We do have one donation currently, it looks like. We have it from Radium dropping $20 to the incentive Save the Animals. The comment reads... Here's to these amazing gamers and to the amazing people at Trans Lifeline. Trans rights forever and always. Thank you, Radium. And back to Frex. Yes, thank you, Radium. Uh, we see Mal just kind of running around here. Poppin going into his Alcane fight right now. He is really not too, too far behind. This fight can go as quick or as long as it wants to. And it, if things go bad for Mal in this final fight, it could spell disaster for him. Um, later on. But we shall see. Uh, Pop Mal is heading into the second lost boss, which is known as Falgaze. Uh, and a fun fact for this is actually the dungeon sigil that he is entering now uh, actually activates way earlier, but we don't, you don't need to fight it without, because of the fight. Uh, and we are seeing right off the bat, Mal is casting the same Thunder uh, Thundersnake as before. Fizzle's there, 
unfortunately, is going to be a little bit of a time loss, and this natural attack also takes a very long time. So he is taking a little bit. We see Poppin about to cast his first lightning bat, uh, one away from killing, and then we see Mal on the second time using a pet assist just to guarantee it just in case, says, I'm not going to fizzle, I know it's going to happen, gets the roll high enough to kill, but this is the hard part. This and Falgaze has 550 health. So you need two rolls um, of 265 or greater, or you are going to have to use an imp on the last turn to kill. First one goes off without a hitch. Uh, 2A5, very, very good. Should be, he needs a 255 at least to be able to kill an 80% chance to do it. Poppin gets a very quick alkane here, is making a little bit of a comeback, but it is still a long road to go for him to be able to catch up. Fit, Mal fizzles the second bat. Anything can happen. A nice long dark fairy for him to sit and wonder what he could have done differently. Different life choices, everything. You never know. Um, and that's actually very unfortunate that he fizzled the second of the lightning bats. So, if you fizzle your first one, not a big deal. You still have to cast two anyway, and you still gain a pip if you fizzle your spell. So he would be at three, uh, which is which plus the one you get extra would be enough to kill. Um, so fizzling on that second one makes him take an extra turn, basically, of battle, uh, which is unfortunate. He, but Mal does get it done on a honestly very good pace overall. And we are seeing him into the final area, going back to Trident, going back to the tower that we fought the Harvest Sword at, and going straight across this area under those lightning bolts, uh, making sure to be careful not to pick up a battle, and then heading into the Haunted Cave, a very spooky area with the hardest enemies in the, in the game right here. We see him talk right there. Now run to the end where the boss fight is as Poppin is about to enter Falgaze. One misstep for Mal here. Um, a death, a bad a bad fight, and everything could be mistimed. We do see Mal taking a sec here to sell a bunch of stuff. He is trying to hit the magical uh, 900 gold mark to buy some treasure cards. So... In normal spells, we have seen them use a bunch of different things. Um, snakes, bats, uh, scorpions, oh my, different things. But you can actually buy treasure cards, uh, which are one, um, one single-use spells that uh, you can get that are extra powerful. So we are going to go see Mal does have the magic 900 here. Um, and he is going to go buy two things. Um, he is going to go buy a Kraken treasure card, which is a four-pip spell. Um, and we see Mal teleport out of this battle. He actually is setting what is known as a dungeon recall. You can see that kind of glowing thing in the bottom right corner. That enables him to teleport directly back to the, uh, the dungeon tower as if he had never left. So he can just run, go grab these things, and then immediately head back. And so he's going to buy this Kraken card, and then also buy a Storm Trap. So the... The Kraken's range is 605 to 665 damage. And then the treasure, the um, Storm Trap gives him an extra 30% up to 768 damage. And the reason we do this is because the final boss, that Lord Nightshade there, has 690 health. And so just the Kraken itself would not be enough. So we buy these two things together to be able to do this. Uh, but we do have to kill the Field Guard first. The Field Guard is one of the hardest minions in the game. It is a, I believe it's a classified as a rank 3 minion. And it has a whole 395 health with a 20% resist to Storm. But e even with that, we still opt to use Storm here because it is the fastest to go. Uh, and it is still just a two shot. So we need two bats on the field guard and then the one kraken at the end of it to be able to kill does he get the second off now mal getting very lucky with a lot of fizzles here um able to kind of just breeze through this uh is taking a little bit of damage he is in a precarious situation he is down to 400 health here and the lord nightshade does have three pips so we are seeing him 
opt to uh, opt to pet assist here just to ensure the kill. Does get a low roll. I believe the pet assist is going to have to come out. No, he got a high enough first roll. Uh, but I do expect to see him flee here. Uh, and the point of fleeing here, especially with this, he's down to 227 health. It is very likely he would die if he stuck around. So we're going to see him flee uh, and then come back. And the good thing about fleeing versus if he died is fleeing does not respond to minion. He does not have to fight that field guard again. But he can just fight Lord Nightshade. Has both the things in his deck. So he can just get straight to it. And just... He draws one of them. He needs to cast this this uh, Storm Trap at some point. Right now he's doing it. He needs to do it before he's able to cast Kraken. And he just needs to pass two more times after this. And then we'll have defeated the final boss of the game. But that is not where the run ends. We still have two more fights after this to do. But they are pretty minor. As we see Popping entering and then very quickly exiting the Nor Lord Nightshade fight. A lot would have to go wrong here for Mal to be able to get back. Poppin collecting a little bit of mana and then on to buy the Kraken and uh, trap himself. I have not looked, but I assume he has enough money, hopefully. And we shall see. Mal, with the Kraken being cast, does get the kill. This is guaranteed the kill now. He has defeated Lord Nightshade, the final boss of Wizard City. But the run is not done. We still have one, two more fights to go. Uh, recently, when they redid the Wizard City to make the first time player experience better, they added these two fights at the end to, to fight more field guards to collect their pumpkin heads. Um... And what this is doing here is he is going to have to defeat two of them. Very lucky fizzle there out of Mal. Um, and the great thing about this, like the wand, is this is not a guaranteed kill. Another one right at the end for another fizzle. Thanks, Mal. Love you. Uh, and this is going great for Mal so far. He is chugging straight along, but he needs to kill at least two of these. Hopefully he gets the... The... Pumpkin head on both of his two. If he doesn't, it could be a way in for Poppin to come back. But you never know. Poppin is a little low on health here. He is opting to use a self-heal spell that uh he can put in his cat. He is he is not having a fun time. Uh he needs one more pass here and then another cast. Gets a fizzle, gets a pass. Very lucky out of pop in here to be able to get this kill onto the field guard. Fizzles, unfortunately. Oh, God. Hopefully not. He is not happy about that one. 360 health. Uh, field guard does have something very, very strong. Does not have to use it. There is a storm shark spell that does a lot of damage. Um, But he... Will live the fight another day. We shall see. Mal is on to his second... His second of his two field guards here. And it is going well for him. Poppin gets that kill. Gets the... Gets that. Now he just needs to survive. The... Lord Nightshade casting a rank 1 spell on him. Does survive. He is going to flee here. But Mal is getting on to the last battle of this game he is one spell away from finishing this off and winning this race right here what a time it's been for mal he has played this perfectly rng tried to screw him up one small misstep but he has continued to play to perfection unfortunate fizzle but does not matter for him he gets the pass second time to charm here and it is going what did Poppin do? Did Poppin opt not to flee there? What a decision from him. He is going to have to refight that that battle there. But we will come back to that in a sec. Poppin, or Mal, has finished off the quest, collected both the pumpkin heads. And we and he is on to uh, going back to Wizard City. Just needs to finish up some stuff here. Poppin is often to play a mini game here to regenerate some potion because he doesn't have any money after buying those treasure cards. Uh, he has not does not know what he's doing. I don't think has not seen this much before. But yeah, Poppin is playing his mini game. There is a magic number. I believe it's 110 gold or 110 score you get. 
and then you get um the max amount of refilling you can uh and so he has regenerated his potion is about to head back to fight nightshade uh for a second time and does have to go through the field guard again because he and poppin did not know about that actually unfortunate for him but mal is wrapping up right now this is gonna be time for mal coming up in three two one time there great job out of mal uh sorry for the heads up wish i'd given more but mal is doing a great job here and poppin is flustered realizing that the field guard comes back if he does not flee very bad. GG's to Mao. A great race from him. Has played it amazingly. And now we just have to support Poppin. Poppin is coming up here. He is going to finish this run. All he has is this boss fight and the two field guards to follow. He can do this. Quick <laughs> breather. We see the field guard casting a shield. Mal is having a great time here typing to everyone. And we see Poppin here pet assisting to make sure that he kills that field guard. Dark fairy real quick from field from from death trap. Let me restart that again. Dark Fairy with the Death Trap is going to do a decent amount of damage. He really should flee here. I hope he knows that. He is not having a good time here. Down the 215 health. Has not used his heal though. Does get the cast here. Hopefully this should be good. Please see... Mal is... Doing something. I'm not 100% sure what he's doing here. Uh, we are seeing Poppin off the heal. Uh... And it, hopefully Poppin can survive. He needs four pips to be able to win, to win this battle here. Uh, has his Kraken, has a good amount of HP. Hopefully this goes well. Chat, please give your energy to the, to Poppin. He has his headphones and he cannot hear you. Um, but this is going somewhere. Uh, loses time because of the damage over time but he is less likely to die now with that um is casting his storm trap now to be able to do it he has his airpods in um but and mal has actually gone ahead and taken the initiative to start the next world uh which is crocotopia the egyptian world uh, and he seems to be having a blast i don't know what he's doing but we we will see we will come back to mal in a minute I believe Poppin taking another death here, unfortunately. This is not going well for Poppin. Should have opted to flee, but is still going to finish strong here. That Hopefully. is unbelievably unfortunate. Oh my god. I don't know if the hot mic is showing up through stream, but that he is not happy. You can do it, Poppin. Take our energy. You can do this. <laughs> Going back to potion motion to be able to to do this. Mal is actually on his way to get the camel mount. We you might have noticed our players are running on a broomstick giving him 40 plus, but he is getting he wants this camel. Poppin going back to potion motion again and then to nightshade for the third time can pop and finally win this fight is taking his sweet time to get make sure he does this right gets his potion is headed back third time's the charm he's got this chat let me see your hypes uh i stand with poppin he can do this Poppin, 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 balloon poppin. I don't know. I don't know what his, what his go-to emote is, but he is going to do this. We got, you got this poppin. Third time charm. Dark Fairy starting off. Not great. He needs to conserve as much HP as possible here. Hopefully he does not take too much damage from this field guard. Thunderstake is not great, but can live with it. 
Casting his first lightning bats here. We got this. Nice fizzle out of Lord Nightshade. A shield cast as well from the field guard is always appreciated and does get the first one off. We have one more cast needed to kill his field guard here. And another damage over time spell just gonna sip, sip, sip it away at his HP. Lightning Bats number two, here we come. Everything has been leading up to this moment. We see a very, a very powerful cast. Wow, getting a Lightning Bat cast back at us. I don't think I've seen this all game, all day. And if there's ever a time for you to flee Poppin, you flee now. He does not have his, um, he does not have his Storm Trap anymore, so he will not get that range. Uh, does kill the Field Guard. Please flee Poppin, we need you. Yes, he finally flees, can, re can regain some mana and some HP, and then get back in there and finish this off. He is checking how much gold he has. He does not have enough gold to buy a potion. Going back to our favorite game, Potion Motion. But this is the beginning of the end. He just needs to cast that Kraken. And if he doesn't get the damage range, cast an Imp. And he will have finished Lord Nightshade off. Woo! Nice breather here with some Potion Motion. Everyone's favorite minigame. And chat, while I'm mentioning this, remember to hydrate. It is very important. Don't want don't want our little feetsies getting getting too dehydrated. But yeah, as you can see, Mal has collected the elusive camel mount. He is actually considering going back to General Achilles now and going to fight him, you know, just to just to make sure that Wizard stays extra safe from any threats. Uh, and we see Poppin still getting some potion motion. He needs a little bit more to get that um, potion regained. That we want to see. And I believe should have enough now. A little bit more for good measure. Gets his potion and now is back to the battle chat. It is the final time to get... Now... Well, that is unfortunate. There is a random chance, even with uh, fleeing, to get the field guard back. This is very, very unfortunate. I don't know what to say at this point. This, this uh, chat does not want Poppin to finish his run. I'm not sure what um, what we should do. It, what is going on with him at this point? Um, that is very, very unfortunate. There is just a random chance that happens. Very unfortunate. Anyway, but we can see this coming up here. Poppin is going to be fuming. I'm going to hear the rest about this for probably the rest of the week here. But hopefully this goes well for him. Poppin getting his... Uh, Getting his, uh, his butt handed to him here, unfortunately, by Lord Nightshade to say it nicely. Uh, is not having the best of times. Does get a lucky fizzle there. Should let him kill the field guard. And then he does get to take another chance at Lord Nightshade. Back in the ring with Lord Nightshade. Has a good amount of HP now. Does not need to, does not need to flee in order to get this. And we should hopefully start seeing him pass here to start getting ready for that Kraken cast. Is going to opt to heal no matter what here. Very good from him. Uh, and we... This is a very hard fight. In, in olden, the very beginning days, these runs used to take up to two hours just because you did as many quests as possible to be able to beat um, Nightshade as easily as possible. And this is a this is a very hard fight, especially at this low a level. Another fire elf is very unfortunate just for timing's sake. And we 
Here is pass number two. He needs one more pass. Gets the pass as well from Nightshade. One more pass, and then he can cast his Kraken. And Mal actually might die himself on this general Achilles fight here. Poppin getting the cast of Kraken here. It is time. Pet assisting because he knows he does not have that trap. He can do this. Poppin is about to kill the final boss of the game. Let's see where the damage roll is. Is it enough to kill? 620 plus the 45 from the pet is not enough to kill. He does have to cast an imp here. He is going to be on 20-ish HP, I believe. It is so close for him. Poppin does go first. He gets one more cast here. And everything has come down to this. This one cast. And Poppin does it. Poppin defeats Lord Nightshade and saves Wizard City from the clutches of, of Lord Nightshade. Going back to Daisy Willmaker now. He only has two more fights left to get the two pumpkin heads that we saw before. He is going to just grab a little bit of HP here to make sure he does not die. Starts the first one up here. Great from Poppin. Always nice to see. Poppin is not having a long time. Poppin is not having a fun time here. He is going to uh, burst a blood vessel in his head. Probably popping out of his face right now. Gets a nice high roll on here. Only needs one more cast to kill this first field guard. So that's why he's called Poppin. It all makes sense now. Uh, only one more to go. Is losing health so quickly. One more lightning bats. Fizzles here, gets another chance, gets the pass. And now on to lightning bats here. Gets the second cast one. This would be the first of two he needs. Uh, we are seeing Mal starting to do some fishing here on him. Is a great timely activity that is everyone loves. Uh, opts to do a classic swap here so you can see these nice different assets here. Opts for a full heal as well. And I believe he did get his pumpkin head there. So he only has one more nice quick first one. And only one more hit to go from Poppin gets the first hit. Nothing can stop him now. He is a man on a mission, a penguin on a mission, a whatever he is feeling like today on a mission. Doing a great job at this. Skunk? I think he's usually a skunk. Sometimes he's a penguin though. Anyway, he is doing an amazing job right now and about to finish this off. Fizzles this one, does get the pass. One more chance, Poppin. You got this. You can do this. Let's go, Poppin. And he does get it. Does he hit the damage roll? I believe he does. Woo! Poppin has finished his final battle. Collects both pumpkin heads. Goes to turn the quest, and now he only has two more people to talk to. And time is coming up in about 30 and 45 seconds here. And here we go. Talks to Ambrose is going to now talk to one more person here in uh, under the waterfall. Did not talk too much about this before, but this is actually the Lost Death School. Uh, the Death School did not uh, broke off from the Western Wizard City and ended up falling to here. Uh, so we happen to find it under this nice waterfall. And we get a nice encounter with uh, one of the main bosses, which is Malastare. Uh, you can see him kind of just there for a sec, and then he disappears again. Talks to Dwargan, teleports back to Commons, and after these text box clear, it is done with the run, and so time is right there. 
And congrats to Poppin. Great from him. Hello, runners. Oh my god. I... That... Oh. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. Uh, Shoutouts to speed. Uh, shout out to the speedrun uh, speedrun.com wizard101 community. Uh, if you like wizard101 speedruns and you like seeing us go super crazy, uh, do check out the speed, uh, speedrun.com uh, wizard101. Our Discord's there. Our wizard101 community Discord's there. We do so many events. Uh, wizard101 pirate order one. Do check it out if you love this old game as much as I do. Thank you guys so much for letting us showcase this race, and I hope you guys have an amazing rest.